Both President Trump and Joe Biden have been crisscrossing Pennsylvania, and it's not likely to let up. Nope, uh, this state's electoral votes are key to who wins the presidency, and both of the candidates know it. New at 6.30, political editor John Delano takes a closer look at the Electoral College and how this state could decide the winner. Five times in American history, the loser of the popular vote has won the Electoral College and the White House. Most recently, Donald Trump in 2016. The Electoral College gives an advantage to winning states and makes Pennsylvania a real battleground this year. In 2016, Hillary Clinton received nearly 3 million more votes than Donald Trump, but she lost the presidency because Trump won states with more Electoral College votes, including Pennsylvania, which he won by 7 tenths of 1%. But states like Pennsylvania are going to be incredibly important, and those are the states that people are looking at. Check out this map from 2016. Trump beat Clinton decisively in the Electoral College by winning states shown in red, like Florida, Michigan, Wisconsin, and of course, Pennsylvania. This year, Trump and Biden are campaigning hard in about a dozen states, ignoring the rest, knowing Pennsylvania could be the decider. That I would be surprised if Pennsylvania doesn't go with whoever wins. Here's a likely 2020 Electoral College map where both candidates split the electoral vote almost evenly, and it's up to Pennsylvania to decide the winner. With 20 electoral votes determined by the number of representatives and senators in Congress, Pennsylvania is a battleground, and it's possible this year the Electoral College winner loses the popular vote. It, it really could happen again. John Delano, KDKA News.